Hey everybody, it's me, Blaze of War, and I stu have these stupid uh, night vision uh, swirlies around me, but today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the two fluids in Minecraft, water and lava. And before I get started, I just want to show this uh, TNT cannon that I have. It's kind of a simplistic design, and I don't have TNT set up here. It's kind of a simple design, but it does show a property of water, and my night vision is about to run out, so I'm just going to go time, set, day. Alright, we'll just turn, turn the lights on, if you will. Uh, one, two, three, four. Alright. And yeah, you can see I, I built this little thing out here just to show you some of the destruction because it's kind of going into the water and you don't really see anything. So you'll notice that none of this blew up, and that's because water actually has a very good uh, blast resistance. In fact, if you... Alright, I have to uh, clog this up. If you are in the water and there's a creeper uh, next to you about to explode, you don't really have to worry about anything because, well, it is going to probably do some damage to you. It won't uh, blow anything up, really. It, I think it may actually not even do damage to you. Uh, I'm a little bit OCD, so I'm just going to destroy this. I don't want random floating blocks out in the middle of the water. Uh, so, yeah. And we'll get to that in a bit, that floating thing in the sky. So we're going to talk about water first. So water, there's, well, there's two kinds of water, kind of like there's two, well, we'll get into that later. There's two kinds of water. There's a uh, water source block, which is this right here. Uh, this is the water source block. And then there's flowing water. Uh, you cannot pick up flowing water with a uh, with a bucket. You can only pick up a water source block. These are all water source blocks. If I had an empty bucket, which I guess I can get, I don't know if if filling a bucket in creative mode is gonna. No. Okay. So now you can see since I took this water, and it probably would have been better to show in survival mode, but whatever. Uh, now. These are all flowing water, and I cannot take any, well, I think I can still take this one, and these two, but this block right here is not considered uh, a source block until I place a block down here, like that. Uh, and of course, in order to get rid of the water, you can just place down a block or a torch, in fact, I guess I'll show the torch thing place a torch, that gets rid of the water source block. Same thing with lava, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, so, to create a water, you can actually create an infinite water source. Uh, so, one design people like to use is this 3x1 three by, three by design. So you place a water source block at one end, and you place a water source block in the other end, and then all three are now uh, source blocks. You can take from the middle, you can take from the side. If you take from the side, then this won't be a source block anymore and you have to put it back. You can only take from this block. Uh, and the reason for that is because a source block heading into another source block in the middle, I don't know how to explain it, like there's different levels of flowing water and the level that happens right after the source block uh, can be turned into a source block if it's water's flowing into it from two directions if that makes any sense uh, so the next thing I'm gonna show is the 2x2 version which is well whatever I don't really have to do this but this is the 2x2 two two version. This is a little bit better because you just place two source blocks, one here and one here, or just in either corner really. And now you can freely take any corner because the water will flow from two points into that corner. 
as you can see briefly. Uh, so that's... Is there anything I really want to talk about? Uh, well, yeah. Here we go. Uh, so, the way water flows, you may have noticed when I put it down here. Water flows towards the... Uh, towards where it would go down. So, if I had... If I had... Place... Well, let's get rid of this one. If I had placed it here, it's going to still flow there. If I had placed it here, it's going to flow both here and here because the nearest, uh, I guess, depression or ground that's lower than the water source block is over here and over here. Uh, Alright. There's something that you can do with redstone, which is kind of complicated, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show this properly. So, okay, I have a depression here, and I have a water source block, and it's going to flow into that depression, into that lower ground level, if you will. Now, say there's, well, actually, let's make this a little bit further out. Uh, let's let's do like here. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really leave myself enough room for this, did I? Okay, so we're gonna do like maybe here. This will work. Okay, so you can see the water is gonna flow a little bit more here. Okay, but let's say I put a new place for it to go here. Well, the water is still gonna flow that way, regardless of the fact that this one's closer now but I can oh I can yeah I guess you just do that so I updated the water source block by placing a piece of redstone down I guess by the source block uh, I don't think it, it's not it's not gonna work for this because the source block has water coming in from all sides uh, Oh, now it's going to just update frequently. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'm, it's kind of hard to explain that, but that's I guess that's the gist of how water works. Lava kind of works in a similar way. I don't really want it going out that way, but I guess I have to show this. So lava, you know, it's it's slower than water. It's very, very slow. And there's one of the properties of uh, lava right there. When lava touches water, either flowing water or a water source block, it will turn it into uh, just just stone, not cobblestone. Water on flowing lava will turn into. And if I can do this right, oh, okay. Water onto flowing lava will turn into cobblestone and yeah the lava is kind of flowing randomly okay so you see water I guess I didn't really do that right but water the water turned the lava into cobblestone I didn't let it hit the source block of course and now we have water how am I gonna do this? Uh, it's gonna. F where's it gonna flow? It's really gonna flow that way. So yeah, water on a lava source block will turn into obsidian. And yeah, Th those are the only three possibilities: lava on water, which turns to stone; water on flowing lava will turn to cobblestone; and water on a lava source block will turn into obsidian. And this really bugs me. I think they're going to fix this. I heard they were going to fix that in a uh, in 1.5. So yeah, what, uh, lava has a weird... Uh, it's just really weird because it's like... once If you get rid of the source blocks, sometimes the, the lava doesn't 
go away right away. It do- it will eventually. It's but it can take like several hours for it to just dissipate. I guess is the word I'm looking for. Of course, you know. Again, you can use torches. You can use torches on a lava source block. And, you know, it flows towards lower ground. So if I have a spot right here, again, it'll go from the source block and it'll flow towards that. But it go notice it went, well, I think water does that too. But, um, I think it has, like, less, uh, time, is it? Or less, like amount of flow it'll flow less than water like lava uh, water will flow i think seven blocks away whereas lava only flows like four i think i don't know anyway i wanted to get to this so this is uh called an obsidian farm and it's a kind of a glitch which has not been fixed yet it's been in minecraft for a while now and so basically what we have here is water flowing down but not touching this redstone it's flowing down into a hole down that way and it, but it's next to redstone and if you put a lava put lava hey let me go there if i put lava above the redstone now normally if you put lava above redstone, uh, let me turn to daytime again. If you put lava above redstone, it'll just destroy the redstone. It'll turn it into the item. But now, it turns it into obsidian. And even the flowing lava is turning the redstone into obsidian. So, this is very useful if you don't want to go outside and, or underground rather and collect obsidian or if you don't want to waste lava because I mean you can pick that lava back up again you can instantly make yourself obsidian and just mine it out and then replace it with more redstone because redstone is a little bit more common than uh, lava am I looking for? no well lava is not that difficult to come by but it's, you still may get more redstone than you are willing to get lava, I guess is what I'm looking for. Uh, so I guess last but not, well, yeah, lastly, this is a uh, cobblestone generator. If for some reason you have no way of getting cobblestone, which I have no idea how you would not be able to get cobblestone, I mean... I mean, where, where where can I find cobblestone? I have no, oh crap! I just screwed something up down here, didn't I? Fuck. Um, I'll fix that later. But yeah, this is a cobblestone generator, and the way it works is because the water is or the lava flows towards the water, it causes this to turn to cobblestone. That was really a bad description. Anyway. Uh, that's it for what I know about water and lava. I'm pretty sure there's more stuff, but I forgot about it. And, crap, I have to fix that thing. So, uh, that's it. And stay tuned for the next episode of whatever this is. I've been Blades of War, and goodbye.